Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a demonstration about the obstetric 3D ultrasound. I'm going to demonstrate it on a Philips machine, but it will be same for almost every machine. Just a few changes in the software, but the main process will be same. Now let's look at the machine keyboard first. There are several options here, like the regular freezing options, the measurement options or modes options you will see 3d button here now we will use that 3d button you can see on the lower part of the screen there are several options like transparency smoothing threshold slice these are controlled by these buttons and there are also some rotating options which will be controlled by these buttons now if you look at the operating muncher there are several options this will make you clumsy so I'll go with the easy ones which will be present in all machines with different names depending on your manufacturer. Here you can see four different editing options. These are important because we will use these options to make beautiful pictures like the transparency, threshold, smoothing and slice. If you don't want to know what they do just use them and you will get idea. It's quite like the editing pictures in your mobile phone. There are some X, Y, Z which we'll use to rotate the images in different planes. Here you can see a vision option which will be the mode of display. You may want to give pink color picture or glass like view or something skeleton like pictures. You'll use this option. The cut or sculpt option will help you erase unnecessary portion of your image. There is a rotate option. When you take an image, it will be a rotated one. So you need to adjust the rotation. You can use this preset rotation of 270 degree or 90 degree, or you can use the XYZ option, which we commonly use. Here is a pan option to move the picture. In other machines, it may be given as ROI option also. Their layouts, you can see the image in four screens or single screen, depending on your choice and the disease. You can choose which screen you want to edit from this option. You can also save the image by pressing the save 3D or save 4D option. Now let's jump into our today's case. Here I'm showing you a pregnancy case. I have taken the sample. We have taken a coronal section of the fetal face, which doesn't look quite good here. And uh, the machine has processed it into a reconstructed 3D image, which also doesn't look good. So let's choose the 3D image and we'll edit it. I'm rotating the image using the XYZ option. I'm just rotating to have a good view to edit. You can see many things need to be cut. Now let's start with the scalp option. In my G machine, it's called the magic cut option. Now I'm rotating again. And I will cut this part also. I'm changing the threshold to change the density of the image. You can see now the face looks quite good. Here's a short trick. When you are doing 3D ultrasound, you should never get satisfied with your image. You give time and you will get better pictures. Now I'm just cutting again. Now the face looks quite good, but we're not satisfied. So we'll edit again. You can see the fetal hand here. I'm just changing the threshold. I use threshold button a lot. It might be given as threshold or density button. I'm changing the light source. There is a light source button here with which you can change the source of light. 
This may give you a good vibe and every time you see an image you should save that image because sometimes you may get better images on that lighting condition. Here I'm rotating a little and you can see I can cut this area. There is an area in front of eye. I want to cut it also. So we will stay with this image and hopefully this can be provided to your patient. Now let's change some modes. You can see this is the surface mode. This is the typical 3D view from low quality machine. Nowadays we don't like it very much. This is the high definition 3D and it looks quite good. So that's all for today's session. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.